Some of you, you feel spiritually dehydrated and spiritually starved because you've never tasted the living water. You've never known what it's like to have God's love in your life. You've never known what it is like to have that deep soul satisfaction knowing that you're fully known and you're fully loved and that Jesus died for you. And here's God's invitation to you right here in this moment. It's an invitation that we actually found in the very last page of scripture. The last page of scripture ends with us looking at this free gift of of the water of life, Revelation 22, verse 17. It says this, it says, the spirit and the bride say, come. And let the one who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come. And let the one who wishes to take the free gift of the water of life come. That's God's invitation to you right now. He's just saying, hey, are you thirsty? Hey, are you longing for love? Is, is there this thing in your soul that seems like it's missing? You know, there was a song written by one of my favorite artists growing up. His name's John Mayer, and it's a song called Something's Missing. And in this song, you know, he was already kind of in the height of his career. Uh, he was rich. He had the cars. He had everything he could have ever wanted. And he writes this song called Something Missing. And the song goes, something's missing. And then he has this list of all these things. It's like a checklist. Money, check. Guitar, check. And it's all these things. He starts going and it's a checklist of all these things in his life that he said he ever wanted. But then at the end of the song, he still says, something's missing. And he says, I don't know what it is. And Jesus says, I'll tell you what it is. It's me. I'm what you're missing. Come to me. I love you. I will accept you. You live in this earth, this desert, where there's nothing that truly satisfies, but I'm the oasis in the middle of it all, and all you have to do is just come and drink. And you come by faith. 